Hey everyone, how you doing? It's me, Goog, from CommodoreServer.com and I'm going to show you how to use your Comet64 internet modem. This is a device that plugs into your user port and it converts serial to ethernet. So you plug in one, device, one side to your ethernet connection right there and the other side you just plug right into your Commodore 64. And what that does is it allows you to communicate on the internet. Pretty cool. So I'm going to show you how you can um, access all of your disks that you that you upload onto your account at CommodoreServer.com. So the first thing I did was I loaded the V1541 software that came with the modem. Um, and then we need to enable it by typing sys49152. All right, all good. Now we're going to type new and we can log in. So we, we log in by typing load and then the greater than sign, which indicates that we're going to send a command, in this case, login, login, demo, and then the password or the pin, comma two. Comma two says we're going to load it from the RS-232 device instead of, say, the disk drive, which is device eight. All right, cool. We logged in. Now we can see what disks we have there. So I type load exclamation point comma two, and that's going to show a list of all the game, all the disks that are there. Uh, in this case, we have we're looking at the root directory, and there's Atari and games. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the Atari disk by typing load pound Atari comma two, and the pound sign says insert this disk. All right, so the disk is in there. Now we can look at the contents by typing load dollar comma two, just like you would a disk. All right, so that's showing you all the files that are on that disk. And what's really cool about CommodoreServer.com is it shows you the start address for each file, um, whereas like on a regular uh, directory, you don't see that. So I'm gonna just gonna load Defender, which is the first game on the list. Defender, comma two. All right, so what that's gonna do is it's loading the program and the data comes into the receive buffer uh, of the Commodore 64 and the receive buffer is pointed at the screen so you can see all the data that's coming in um, and it's gonna fill up each line all the way down because um, that's 256 bytes and it's gonna do that 65 times because there's 65 blocks and each block is 256 bytes one nice thing about that is you can see the actual data coming through, you know it's working too. So this is kind of a big program. Maybe I should have chosen something a little bit smaller. Um, internet speed is currently at 2400 baud, but um, I'm working with a friend of mine who thinks we can get up to um, 32K uh, throughput, 32K baud which will be way faster than a disk drive. This is slightly slower than a disk drive. Um, okay, so there we go, it's all done. So now um, this particular program starts at location 32761. Uh, so it's not a basic program, which would be 2049. So we can't just type run. So we have to type sys 32761 to start the program. There it is, Defender.